Today, we're gonna to be doing a run through of some of the major feature updates for Zoho Sign that have rolled out this year in 2025. There's some big ones here. Some of them are centered around AI functionality, and some of them are just long requested collaboration and communication tools that are now built directly into the product. So let's jump right on in. So I'm gonna use this article here as kind of our jump off point, but I do have a few others that are pulled up that we're gonna go through that kind of just show a little bit more detail on some of these items. Really, the big one here is the rolling up all these updates that kind of span across the entire signing workflow from drafting to sending to collaborating to signing the document itself. Here they've got this little table here that kind of highlights which ones of those can be augmented with some type of AI functionality. Of course, drafting agreements. If we kind of jump into that, they have a integration with OpenAI here. So, you know, we can kind of see as this video goes, uh, it's basically going to ask them, draft me a lease agreement, right? And then the system will actually write out that agreement for you, which you can then convert directly into your document for sending out for signature. Now, of course, put a big asterisk on this in that you should always get this type of thing reviewed by your lawyer first, or maybe have your lawyer do this, right? Like draft it with AI, but, you know, make sure that everything is compliant based on your specific requirements and legalities. But that being said, if it can reduce some of that labor overhead that's generally required to get a contract created, or if you need something that's kind of like a one-off and relatively standard, like I could definitely imagine using this for like an NDA or, you know, hey, can you just write me up like a BAA agreement, right? Like, um, you know, for people who have HIPAA data, like these are relatively standard documents that it's probably going to be able to pull from a wealth of kind of very normal contract terms to use for that. So again, always put the asterisks on using this for, you know, properly sending the contract. But if it can reduce some of those labor hours that you would normally pay your legal team or your, you know, your external lawyer, definitely some great cost savings there. Before we jump into the next round of updates, I do want to ask if you're finding the videos useful so far, be sure to like and subscribe down below. Leave me a comment with what types of videos you'd like to see in the future and which ones of these features are your favorite. And head right on over to Zanata.com and click on book a meeting if you'd like some help setting this up inside of your Zoho account. As we kind of continue to move down the page here, you do now have the ability, if you're working with something that you've uploaded as like a docx, to make some last minute changes to that document as you've already uploaded it to Zoho Sign. So this one, nothing to do with AI, but it is kind of a long time annoyance in Zoho Sign where it's like once you've loaded something in there, you can't make any minor adjustments. Like in this case, they're basically saying like, look, shoot, we forgot to put the confidentiality watermark on the document rather than taking it back out, going back into your PDF editor, putting in the watermark and then uploading it back in, <laughs> putting emerge fields back in, you know, redoing all of those steps. You could just make some of those types of edits to the document here. Now, do you keep in mind, this is kind of like overlay, right? So I'm using like, in this case, a PDF here where they're just going to do some overlay work on top of the document. But again, it just removes that step of having to actually leave Zoho sign go do things in a PDF editor, and then come back in. Here, they've kind of included this section. This obviously was already here, right? That we could assign different recipients, different roles. One of the things that is new and is powered by AI is this automatic field detection. Now, there's kind of two ways that people use Zoho Sign. One of them is going to be the standard way, I would say. You have a bank of document templates where all of these types of fields, basically a place where you or the recipient are going to type in information or sign, they're probably already going to be in there for a template, right? Like, you know where it's going to go. You've just already placed it there. There are a lot of businesses that have more custom contracts, right? Like maybe you're the type of business where you work with really large companies and they oftentimes redline your entire contract and then you need to rewrite it up and then you're kind of sending it from scratch each time, even if maybe you start with a template. You are the exact type of person that might really like the automatic field detection because basically what it's doing is looking at your document and it's saying like, hey, I bet you something goes here. I bet something goes here, right? And then it's gonna look at the context around each of those pages to essentially determine what type of field, what the name of that field should be, right? So it's like, hey, that's gonna be a date. That's gonna be a company name right down here on that big line on the bottom next to the word signature. Hey, let's put a signature field there. So nothing super major, but if you have a really long document, and again, if a lot of your signed contracts are going to be relatively custom with lots of back and forth, 
this can definitely save you some time. Now, here's one that, again, nothing to do with AI on this one. I'm just really happy about it. They actually rolled out the ability to allow comments on documents that you can kind of go back and forth with people on. So I can see like, hey, I've selected this section. I'm leaving a comment on it, right? Somebody else can reply to that comment, come in and resolve that. This is something that happens for us. I mean, we're a Zoho partner. You know, we send out a consulting services agreement to somebody. They might want to leave a comment and say like, hey, could you just clarify what you mean by you're going to be the partner of record with Zoho, right? Like, someone might have a question on that. It is kind of nice if they're just able to like select that exact section say they've got a question, that notifies me, I can come in and reply to it, mark it as resolved, they get a notification. And now, of course, they could take a screenshot, they could email it to me, but it is really nice to just do that all natively, directly within the tool itself, just because the less that we're having to jump around, the better. So I was really excited to see this one when it came out, really happy to have that collaboration ability baked into Zoho Sign. It's been something that our, some of our clients have been asking for for quite a long time. Last but not least, and this is one of the ones where I kind of broke out some of those separate articles for because it doesn't really show them all in detail. When that person is actually signing the document or when you are signing a document sent to you via Zoho Sign, they have three new AI tools that show up. This one in their video here, they're really just showing the document summarization, which is the ability to come in and basically say, hey, give me just the high level of what's going on in this document. Now, as always, this is where I put the asterisks. Be careful with this, right? Like it might not understand that a certain term is really important based on your particular needs, requirements, plans, agenda, right? So always be a little bit wary of these summaries, but they can give you a good place to start, right? At least like, hey, there's a confidentiality agreement, nothing too crazy in it. They're looking for X, Y, and Z, right? So you can kind of see over here on the right in their video that, uh, you know, it's kind of written out this section. Being candid, I'm probably copy pasting this into something else that will format it a little bit better. You know, as you look at that, it's a bit all bunched together. If we jump into some of these other components here, so if we want to look at key term extraction, this is more of the one that I would imagine using. Like the full document summarization here is might be a bit overkill because again, like I'm going to read the document anyways. But what the key term extractor can do is basically come in and do this right? This to me looks much, much, much better, right? This is basically it giving me a high level of like, here are those terms and headers. And really what it seems like it's doing from playing around with it a little bit is it's looking for like those bold headered sections, right? It's creating a kind of block in its response for each of those. And then it's giving you a quick summary of what you're going to find in each of those sections and key terms, right? So really cool. One of the things I'm excited about with these over time is the potential for maybe having this thing with a bit of a bank of information, right? Because we get sent a lot of NDAs and confidentiality agreements, right? We're going to plug in with a client and they want to make sure that if they show us some really cool process that they have internally, we're not going to turn around and monetize that, right? So, you know, we sign tons and tons of NDAs. It's baked in our contract, but sometimes a client has a contract that they're like, hey, We got to use ours. And it's like, cool, no problem. Send it over. Well, probably like one out of 50 NDAs that we get will have something kind of weird in it, right? Like something that isn't really NDA language or kind of commits us to something non-standard. And I could definitely imagine a tool like this allowing me to find that like non-standard NDA section a little bit quicker, right? Because right now I read, I look at the whole thing every single time. If this could at least give me a place to start, then it could save me time on like one out of five of those weird ones that I get. And because it's all baked in, you might as well give it a try and use it. Other ones here, of course, just for kind of a more expanded look at the document summarization. So within here, again, as you're going through to sign, you have that ability to, this is a GIF, so it's going to replay on us. Again, for some of these need to have a ChatGPT integration turned on. For others, you just need Zia. What will realistically happen over time is that more and more of these are going to be enabled for Zia, right? Like Zoho's kind of taking the approach of using some of ChatGPT in the interim here because they don't want you to not be able to use this stuff. But at the same time, we kind of know they're working on it in the background. Um, So 
Overall, really cool suite of updates here for Zoho Sign. My favorite, honestly, as funny as it is, is the simplest one, which is just commenting back and forth. You know, the AI ones are cool, but as you can tell, and if you watch our podcast regularly, I kind of always mention it, that like the idea of having an AI tool, like if we watch this video exactly as they do it, right, which is like the AI tool drafted this agreement, right? I make like minor little edits to like, you know, put some merge fields in or whatever, and then I save and create and like send it out to the recipient. Like I'm never going to do that, right? Like as much as I always want to be really excited about AI stuff, a lot of use cases are really cool to me. That flow of like it writes me a document and then I send it out to someone, it's not going to happen for me. But, you know, the ability to comment back and forth, really, really cool. And again, these types of quick summarization tools, while they might be limited in scope right now, I think in the long run are going to be a huge time saver because especially again, as you get into that key term extraction, a lot of the times what you're looking for when you get something like an NDA, right? Is like, is there something weird in here, right? Because a standard NDA is basically just like, you know, don't tell anyone about these things. If we give you a document, assume that it's confidential and it's like, yep, yep, all good, all good, no problem at all. And so if you could get to a place where some of these tools are kind of looking at like, hey, this is what an NDA normally looks like. These nine sections are really normal. This one over here has some weird language in it that we don't normally see in NDAs, right? That could actually be a huge time saver for me. So I am excited for these tools, even if right now they might be a little early, right? Where they're not going to solve all of your problems. I do think overall, in the long run, they're going to be increasingly useful. Again, as always, I'd love to hear in a comment down below which ones of these you're most excited to use. For those of you who maybe are still on DocuSign or Adobe Sign, right? We have a lot of clients that are like using Zoho for most things, but keep their other signing tool. I'd be curious to hear what would make it worth the switch. You know, of course, it's a lot cheaper. It's included in Zoho One. The per envelope cost, if you're automating things, are a lot cheaper. But there are some of those features and functionalities in those other tools that might be keeping you there. And I'm always curious to hear about what those may be. So leave us a comment down below, kind of letting me know if Zoho Sign is good enough for you or if there's some other options that you are finding better for your particular needs. While you're down there, make sure to like and subscribe if you found the video useful. As always, my name is Tyler Colt, and I will see you next time.